Hello there everybody, my name is Coach Shadongs the Bomb Bot Build for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update. This is from the Legoland Water Park at Gardaland. Now we haven't reported on this since it was first confirmed uh, to be building for 2020. Now the actual attractions in the water park have now been revealed and in this video I'm going to be talking about all of them. So please make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you can every YouTube video. Please share the channel around with your friends, family and on social media. And for now guys, let's get into this video. So this is from the Legoland Water Park at Gardaland. This is their brand new 2020 edition. Many people in the theme park community and the fan community will know that Million Entertainment does like to open uh, one main uh, sort of investment, a major multi-million pound investment uh, at one park per year. So of course, um, you know, we all know 2018 it was Alton Towers, 2019 uh, I guess you could say Heidi Park with the Colossus refurbishment and now it's the massive new Legoland Water Park with Gardaland. 2021 is an interesting one to predict obviously with uh, Chessy 2 with the Drop Tower, Legoland Windsor with the, um, you know, Lego Movie World, uh, I'm sure Alton Towers have got something up their sleeve, Thought Park I'm sure will do something. Uh, and of course, <clears throat> uh, Heidi Park and Garland will do some stuff as well. Um, so, you know, it's. I think with the new takeover coming in, I think that gonna, there's going to be more than one park in the future in the next few years to have multi million investments uh, and introduce more new rides and attractions. Uh, but for now, of course, it is just one major investment per park. And of course, that this year in 2020, it is Gardaland's turn and they're investing in the Legoland Water Park. So let's have a look at the specific attractions in the brand new Legoland Water Park set to open in 2020 at Gardaland Park in Italy, the Gardaland Resort. Uh, so, first of all, Miniland. Now, it's an entire themed area with over 4 million Lego bricks, one of a kind anywhere. Admire the most beautiful monuments in Italy built to scale, such as the Colosseum, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, strolling through the various themed areas or sailing the Lego River Adventure. And of course, I'll let you know about that uh, in a little bit. So it's a nice mini land, so it's a nice walkabout area while you're walking around the water park. So it's a very nice scenic uh, experience in the water park. We've got the Lego River Adventure. Uh, personalize your raft with colorful floating Lego bricks and let the slow river flow transport you. Pass through the enchanting underwater grotto and admire some of the beautiful Miniland monuments. So again, this will go right past and round the Miniland. Um, <clears throat> so basically this is your build your own raft and it's technically, uh, for the water park terms, it is a lazy river attraction. You've then got beach party. Now this is uh, like your, your children's sort of water play area kind of thing. Uh, so all around enjoyment at the beach party where the fun never ends. Play areas over several levels all to be explored. Many colourful slides await you for non-stop adventure. Watch out for the cannons, they shoot water from every corner and watch out for the great tower. Bucket of water rain down from the top. So that's of course, uh, like I said, your children's play area, water play area. And of course it's got the massive bucket like the one at the... Uh, Splash Landings Water Park at Alton Towers um, and I know many other water parks around the world have that sort of play area with the massive tipping buckets so it's great fun for all the family. You've then got Duplo Splash so this is a, where the little ones want to get into the water so Duplo Splash is perfect area for them. Discover all the aquatic animals who from the jungle to the polar regions are ready to spray you with water so again this is like your little water play area, but this is sort of like for the younger one. This is like the toddlers and the babies and things like that. So it's good that they're covering all ages, literally all ages, uh, with this water park. Jungle Adventure. This is one of the first slide complexes. Uh, the slides of the jungle await you with lots of fun for the entire family. Choose the slide you prefer and begin the most adventurous descent there is. Whether freestyle, by raft, in the daylight or in the dark. Where it's important is being the first one to reach the bottom of the slide. So technically it's a racing kind of slide. Uh, and like I say, it's either freestyle body slide or it's a raft slide. Um, and of course, like it says, in the daylight or in the dark. So this tells me they're going to have nightly hours for this water park, which is fantastic news. 
Uh, jungle Oasis. Welcome, Explorer. Meet all the animals of the jungle rebuilt with Lego models. Play with your friends in the crocodile puddle and do not miss an opportunity to take a souvenir photo. Cooling down has never been so much fun. So again, this is your, your water sort of playground, I guess, for the kids. Uh, so think of uh, the Muddy Puddles play area at Peppa Pig World or Poulton's Park. Uh, or you could look potentially at Water Kingdom, again, at Poulton's Park. Uh, they've got a couple of you know good water play areas, Poulton's Park. So that's what we're looking at here with this. Pirate Bay. So an ideal place for the entire family to swim, cool down, or simply relax. Gradually go into the swimming pool and you'll be able to adventure into the water like a true pirate. To battle the Lego characters with sprays of water until the magnificent fortress has been conquered. <laughs> so yeah, Pirate Bay is a traditional swimming pool. So it's a good place to relax. It's a good day out for the whole family. Lego Creation Island, an, event, an island of discovery and imagination where you can set your creativity free. Decorate the great sand castle, build boats and ships with the Lego bricks, anything that your imagination could think of. So again, this is, you know, this is like a good place for the kids to uh, explore their creativity. Duplo Waterworks. Do you need a break after all this water fun? Let your imagination loose with interactive and educational activities. Build bridges, dams and cities with the Duplo bricks and see how you succeed against the powerful jets of water. Again, this is fantastic of Legoland, Gard uh, Legoland Waterpark to do. This is fantastic of Gardaland to do. Uh, just to get the kids, you know, learning as well as... Again, it's like CB was at Alton Towers. This is learning through play. So it's a very good concept that the theme park community are trying to break into a little bit more over the last few years. Um... Now, Constru Construci Una Barca, so this is building your own Lego ships. Personalise it any way you'd like and discover it will set sail. Challenge your friends and discover who is the best captain, which boat will be able to get beyond the winding rapids and reach the finish line first. So again, this is learning through play. You're building your ships, you're wondering how it works, and then you're sailing them across the water. So, uh, before you go inside, do not forget to take a memorial souvenir photo of your day. So, uh, all that information was, of course, from the official Gardaland Legoland Water Park website, the official website for the water park itself. Um, so, overall, from all that, then, very, very exciting. I think it's fantastic. Um, I think that we've had some great news stories over the last few days. Obviously, Southport Pleasureland's, you know, there's been talk about the lease and. You know, Southport Pleasure Land, I'm sure fans of that are going to get very excited. That wasn't over the last few days, but, you know, that's, you know, very exciting. Obviously, we had the sad news about Lightwater Valley closing Twister. They haven't actually confirmed it yet, but Apollo is set to be staying after rumours of it going to a place in Bridlington. But Twister looks like it's going to be closed. It's removed from the website. We talked about that in a previous video. So, sad news and good news for the theme park industry. Um... And, of course, that will all be covered here on Coast Chow. And I think this is one of the good ones, because, like I said... A couple of times while explaining all the different experiences within the new water park, it is learning through play. And the fact that Legoland Water Park here at Gardaland Resort can uh, learn through play and also ha let, let kids have fun, let the family have fun, a family fun day out, that's the whole premise of the Legoland Water Park. Uh, and I think that uh, Gardaland are going to do a fantastic job with this. I think that they're already doing a fantastic job with the theme park. You know, when we thought Square Adventure, the squirrel type coaster, you know, we thought that was done for. It's not. You know, 2019, they brought in Square Magic Loop, which is the re theme and the refurbishment and the reopening of this particular coaster. So they always find a way. It's a magical theme park, <clears throat> you know, over in Italy. And I think that it's, it's just fantastic. It's just a fantastic place to be. Uh, so Legoland Water Park there in Gardaland with all the new attractions. Make sure you look out for the opening day. Um, if you are down there in Italy on the opening day, please comment down below. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very much for watching this theme park news update on the Legoland Water Park in Gardaland. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell. See you in the next YouTube video. Please share the channel around with your friends, family, and on social media. Please get your questions in using hashtag question before or after your question in the comments down below. I'll be starting on Instagram soon as well. Uh, make sure you also share the channel with your friends, family and on social media. And for now guys, my name is Coast Shell. Keep on the coast of life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care guys.
Abração.